So you're probably watching this on a phone, a tablet, or a laptop, maybe even on a desktop. Not possible without minerals and metals. And those have to be mined. Here's the thing. Canada is super well-equipped to be the global mining supplier of choice. I spoke with Chamarai Nabezi from the Center for Excellence in Mining Innovation. And he told me what we need to do to take all of this opportunity forward into a reality that is going to benefit Canadians, British Columbians, and everyone globally who's able to use responsibly, ethically, sustainably developed products. Bring good ideas forward and solve big problems. What kind of steps would you recommend taking? An idea needs to be incubated. And sometimes, you know, you can incubate an idea through like a university. You see, Canada has massive proven reserves of some of the most important minerals and metals in the world today. Think copper for EV motors, silver for circuits, iron ore for wind turbines, and so many other things. We have an opportunity here. Let's not waste it. The table stakes of tomorrow's economy sit right under our feet. And we've got the engineers, geoscientists, and AI talent to cut emissions, to mine smarter, and to still net a return for investors. Governments have finally clocked it. They've been putting out critical mineral strategies faster than I can keep up with. But ambition without execution? That's not worth very much. Leveraging Canada's full mining potential is not an opportunity we can afford to snooze on. We need to capture new markets for these products and lock in Canada's position as a global supplier of choice for these products. If you'd like to check out my full conversation with Chamarai, check out the link in our bio.